Okay, now if I die here, I am stupid. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. As you know from my previous videos, I'm on the grind to 100 demons. So, for this video, I'm going to be finally doing Castlemania by Sir Punch, which is literally, in my opinion, the best level in the game. It's one of my favorite levels of 2.1, and it's just one of the best levels in the game. This is a clip I took of it back on November 7th of 2020 when it first got uploaded and it had very little downloads I made it to it within two hours of it getting uploaded and I immediately favorited it and put it on the favorite of 2.1 folder since like I just said it's just such a great level so I finally come back to do it now that it's like August now <laughs> but yeah, I'm finally here to do this, once and for all. Now, it may seem like I have a lot of attempts here to start off with, but that's just because I was exploring it in practice mode, finding all the different routes. And that's what makes this level fun in my opinion. You don't have to be the best of the game to be able to enjoy all the possible different routes and secrets you need to do. You just need to just go hop in, in practice mode and explore everything. Which is just so fun, and I just there's no other level that's quite open world like this that's actually fun like this. Actually, an interesting thing is I actually have done an open world styled level before on my channel. It's called Grieb World by Grieb, and that actually had that was also a nice open world level. But yeah, nothing compares on the scale to this. <laughs> So, now I'm going to walk you through my path I found in the level, which is actually the easiest route to actually complete the level. So, first you want to start off by holding at the very beginning here, or you can time that jump. Just the important thing is to land in that log there. Then you want to wait till you're right before the spikes, and then just hold there. And then comes the interesting part. Normally these triple jumps aren't that hard, but since you're a mini, they become a lot more precise. So, and then up here is the first key you want to get. Just make sure not to fall down into the basement there. So, you want to just wait till the, the edge of that platform and jump and get that first key there. And then these timings are a bit strict. You have to wait till the edge of the platform to jump. And then that... This is a timing also. You have to wait till the edge of the window frame and then hold. And then timing, timing. You have to hit that dashboard blade because if you hit that early, you just smash into the spikes there. Now this is where the real genius part of this route comes into play here. Normally you would just hit that orb and then you'd be thrust into a awkward cube section that's is very difficult to play but with the way I'm doing it you just reverse gravity before you hit the dash orb there and now you're an upside down UFO which makes this part so much easier and you can just fall up into the garden instead of having to deal with all of this garbage here Yeah, pain. So you fall up into the garden here and you want to wait till the edge of the platform and jump off. It. <laughs> well, apparently I did it too perfectly and just missed the paddle together. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Well, the point is because you can't just fall off the platform or that'll happen and you won't hit the pad. So you hit the pad, which gets you your second key you need, and it brings you up to the attic here, which has one of the coolest death animations I've ever seen in any level. It's so cool that it's like demon hand just bringing you down into that portal. It's so cool. I love it. And there's two of these. There's one bringing you up into the ceiling into the other portal also. And then coming up here, 
This is another hard part I wanted to avoid. This red orb is just a really ridiculous timing. So I just want go up here instead, which is much easier. This is really the only hard part, this spam. It's like, just do 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 it, Yeah, it's pretty much just spam. You just have to start it at the right spot. <laughs> and then jump at the end there because there's a spike. Now here's an important thing. All the candles here are actually hazards in the library. Normally the library is really chill. It's just the candles are hazards. And then if I die there, it's, I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> because this part's actually really easy. The library is just really easy. The library and then this exterior here. Both those parts are really easy. So if I die anywhere past that spam section, I'm gonna be surprised. But yeah, it's pretty much my route of the level that I'm taking. It's a lot easier than the standard path because it tours all over the castle and it's actually a lot easier than the standard path, I think. But you have to do some searching for this. So there, now that I've fully explained my route and how it's easier than any other path, I'm gonna attempt this in normal mode now. <laughs> okay, so this massive bombshell of information just dropped earlier when I was practicing this level. Um, dude, you might wanna check your YouTube subscriptions. Wait. Why? Holy crud, man. <laughs> it's finally here after four years, man. Holy crud. Okay, definitely liking it and turning on reminders. I, holy crud, man. <laughs> I'm gonna, man, I am. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> so, I did a live reaction to this sneak peek as my previous video on my channel. So, I'll leave a link to that in the cards if you want to see that after. Back to Castlemania now. No! Dang it, I made it past all the hard parts in the beginning. I even made it past the stupid timing here. And I just died of missing an orb. It's so unjustified, man. It's so stupid. I jumped the pad. Come on, man. <sighs> No, I could have fluked it, man. Come on. That was right before the really hard part. Well, we're making progress at least. Okay, now if I die here, I am stupid. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so close. No! That's even stupider. <sighs> okay, so that's my first death to the spam part that I thought would be the hardest part of the level. But no, I've died all around there in the stupidest spots. 
Come on, just my luck, isn't it? I jumped over the pad again? Come on, I did that in practice mode earlier. Also, what is the deal with that, man? <sighs> That's so hard to do. I can't believe I did that twice now. Now, if there's anywhere I thought I was gonna die at the library, it was there, because I literally had two narrow misses earlier. So, I thought I was gonna die there, but no, I apparently died to the stupid candles before. It's literally so easy. <laughs> Yes! Finally! Woo! Okay, that took longer than I expected. <laughs> but I'm definitely proud of what my route was, because it's so much easier than the standard path. But yeah, this is just literally the best level in the game, just because of how open world the entire level is. It's made by all of these very talented creators scrolling on screen right now that helped with the creation and promotion of this level. Literally just like hats off to all of them because this is, like I've said, this is probably the best level in all of Geometry Dash. And hopefully this gets the godlike rating. The one that rewards five CP when <laughs> 2.2 comes out because we just had the sneak peek. So hopefully 2.2 is around the corner. Yeah, 26 minutes. Yeah, this took longer than I expected. <laughs> but, man. <laughs> so, fifth. Yeah, that many attempts. I can't even be bothered <laughs> because literally like 1700 of them was just exploring in practice mode. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay, well. It's a lot of fun finding all the secrets in this level, and I highly encourage you to just at least check out it and explore it in practice mode, because it's just so fun. I'm just so glad I finally got around to doing this in normal mode since this level came out in November of last year, and I'm finally getting around to it now. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad I finally checked off another demon on my to-do list that I've been wanting to do for so, so long now. Nice, I see I have a fellow iPhone user here. Nice. <laughs> that was unexpected. Also, one more thing I wanted to point out real quick here is that the song that this level uses is actually a remix 
of the Bowser's Castle theme from Super Mario World. Here, I'll run a clip of it to show the similarities. Well, anyways, let's take this off the... <laughs> Look, I am so used to saying let's take this off the demon to-do list at the end of these videos. But I completely forgot that I already had this under the favorites of 2.1 folder. <laughs> and literally, in every single demon completion video I've done, it's literally always been on the demon to-do list. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> so embarrassing, man. But now that I've completed that, that puts me up to 99 demons. So, yeah, Boom Slayer was 98, and then this was 99, and now all I have left is Reanimation by Terran for my 100th demon. So, yeah, I had no idea when that video is gonna be out, since I am still working on Boom Slayer. Anyways, if you guys like this video and want to see more like it in the future, feel free to tell me in the comments. I cover all sorts of amazing levels like this on the channel, and I always read all comments. Also, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like on the video or subscribe to my channel. We are so close to 400 subscribers. The immense support on my channel has been insane recently. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it so much. So if we get it 400 subscribers soon, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyways. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.